reinforced concrete slab, the shear stress, which is subjected to uniformly distributed load, are normally relatively small in comparison to its cross sections. Therefore, shear reinforcement are seldom required. When the ultimate shear force is smaller than the shear strength of the unreinforced concrete sections, no shear reinforcement is required. This diagram outlines the equations to design for the shear resistance of the slab. When your shear load is less than the shear capacity of the unreinforced member, no shear reinforcement is required. The shear capacity of the concrete is given by these equations. The K is given here and it should be less than 2.0. And the row 1 is the percentage of reinforcement bar is given here and it is less than 0 0.02 the shear resistance of the concrete should always be greater than the minimum resistance of the concrete therefore a larger value of these two is selected to represent the shear resistance of the concrete it is to be checked with the shear load Normally, the shear load is less than the resistance of the concrete. If the shear load is greater than the resistance of the concrete, you have two options, either to design for the shear reinforcement or to increase the cross-section of the slabs. For a typical slab, we will normally choose to increase the thickness of the slab. Alternatively, you may refer to this table in order to, for you to acquire the shear resistance of the concrete. This table is meant for the concrete strength of 30 Newton per mn square. The percentage of reinforcement bar is computed here. The K is computed here. And the effective depth is given here. And the shear stress in terms of megapascals are given here. To use this table, first you need to acquire the percentage of reinforcement bar and to determine the effective depth of the slab. With that, you will be able to obtain the shear stress of the member. This stress is to be compared with the shear loads divided by the BD of the section. So the loading should be less than the VED obtained from this table. Then the slab is considered acceptable. For the concrete strength other than grade 30, and for the percentage of the reinforcement bar more than 0.4%, the VRDC can be multiplied with the factor here in accordance to the concrete grade. For the number which are not round number, Interpolations may be acquired or you may always go for the more conservative numbers.